quick note I want to talk to you about writing the linear equation and group problems specifically. We have this situation where Anna's making four bracelets a week for her junior student. I'm going to highlight bracelets a week because that's important information. Also, there were 13 bracelets already. That is also important information to highlight in a different way. When Anna started making bracelets this week, Anna was the only person making bracelets, and we're going to complete the steps below. First, we need to fill in the table. So to fill in the table first, we need to know what our x is and what our y is. x is typically our independent or cause variable, and y is our dependent or effect. So in this case, we're going to say the number of weeks is going to tell us how many we have. So here we want to know after two weeks, how many bracelets, after four weeks, how many bracelets, and after six weeks, how many bracelets. Now I'm going to add a couple column rows above to give us a little bit of space to build up to this. And I'm going to find out after zero weeks and after one week, just to help us get there. So we know that there were 13 bracelets before she'd done anything. So that means after zero weeks, there were 13. Now after one week, she made another four bracelets plus those previous 13. So four plus the previous 13 equals 17. And when we get to two weeks, she had the initial 13 plus the four from the previous week plus the four from the second week. So 13 plus four is 17. 17 plus another plus 21. So now when we go to the fourth week, she will have had four weeks of making four bracelets each plus the original 13. So four times four is 16 plus 13 is 29. And the sixth week, there were six weeks of making the four bracelets made over the course of six weeks. Each week we made four plus 13, six times four is 24, plus 13 is going to give us 37. And now we're going to graph these points in Desmos. So we'll go to desmos.com. And just to help you see what's going on, I'm going to add a column here and add a more column of 40. Point. That's how you're going to graph the points. So it's x comma y. So I'm going to change each of these points into a coordinate point. So this zero, this is our x. And next one, we have one comma seventeen. Next is two comma twenty one. The next is four twenty nine. And the last is six. 37. I'm going to go through that real quick and make sure our x is 1, 0, 1, 2, 4, 6, 0, 1, 2, 4, 6, and we have 13, 17, 21, 29, and 37 for our y values. And now I'm going to put those into Desmos. So in this Desmos, I've already started putting some of those in. So here's our first, second, third, fourth. I'm going to put in the last point, 6, 37. And I'm going to click label so I can see it. And hopefully those points line up and I check this one and the next. It should be 29. So if it looks like the points don't fall on a straight line, you may have typed them in wrong. You may have done some incorrect math. Also note you might need to change your window. The default window is a 10 by 10, but I knew that my points went up higher, so I changed the y values up to 50 so I could see them. You can also drop click the screen around and increase and decrease it. And so now I have all the points graphed and I'm going to go back to my document. So now that we're here, we're going to look at the next part of the problem. The next part says write an equation. So we're going to write a simple y equals mx plus b. That's the form our equation is going to be. That means we need to figure out what m and b are. As a reminder, M is our slope. Slope is also the rate of change. 
And so in this problem, we need to look for what is changing every week or every day or every year, and the number of bracelets is what is changing. And so we know from the problem that we have four bracelets a week. And so every week, we're going to have more bracelets. So it's going to be four bracelets for one each single week. So we can simplify that to just a slope of four. V is our y-intercept. That means it's another word for that is our starting point. And so we'll mean x and zero. So our starting point, we they told us there were 13 bracelets when she started working. We also have x is zero and y is 13. So our starting point or our y-intercept b equals 13. And so now we're going to put this all together. Now that we know our m and our b, our slope and our y-intercept, we can write our equation. So we'll have y equals m, and our n we said was four. Plus b, and so b is 13. So now we can go to Desmos and put that equation into our graph. And not only will we be graphing the equation, but it will help us know that we have the right points. So we'll have y equals 4x plus 13. And first of all, we can see that I typed 14 instead of 13, so we know that there's an error because none of the points follow the line. But once I type in the right equation, we see all the points are on the line. Now notice if I'd accidentally put in, say, a 39 here, that point would be off, and we would know that either our equation is completely wrong or the point's wrong. And since it's only one point that's not on the line, we'd know that we probably made an error in the point. So now we can click on here and we can copy this link, or we can click on the embed link to embed the graph into a discussion post, whichever one you want. And then we can go back to the instructions. The last thing says, talks about, so we're going to post your table, your graph equations. And then when you're replying to classmates, you're going to replace x with 10 and explain what x with 20 means. So that means you'll come to our equation, which was y equals x plus 13, and you're going to replace x with 10. So that means how many bracelets are you going to have after 10 hours? So that'd be 40 plus 13, which gives us 53. All right, that is all. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for, thank you for watching.